Hey everyone, have I here bringing a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the high probability of the Extreme Z Awakening to the AGL Dokkan Festival exclusive Metal Cooler and what may it look like. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So this is going to be a custom Metal Cooler EZA. You know me, I love to do these kind of things. Try to see how close I can get to the Extreme Z Awakenings. Um, and I've gotten, you know some pretty close some very far away but uh, it's always fun to make these uh, custom units here so let's first and foremost dive into why we're talking about the metal cooler as the easy is due to the fact that we just had part one uh, have a dokkan festival exclusive easy in the transformation super saiyan goku and then also the lr non dokkan festival exclusive yellow coin full power frieza now you look at the dates there, they're both in 2019 was the release for these two units on JP. And now you look at, well, part two that's coming up right around the corner here. It should also have a Dokkan Festival exclusive uh, EZA and an LR EZA. And pretty much most people are consensus saying that these are going to be the two units that are going to get the EZAs. Uh, the Dokkan Festival exclusive AGL Metal Cooler and then makes a lot of sense for the only other Super Saiyan Goku LR Bomb Coup, even though it's not necessarily a part of the cooler celebration, um, just like Full Power Frieza, uh, makes sense for that unit to also be easy 8 as well. And again, it's very similar to the time frame when these units came out, except for Metal Cooler, it's been a while. October 31st, 2018, when, when this unit was actually... Um, you know, dropped on JP version of the game. So that's a long, long time as the other units were in uh, May 2019, June 2019, and then December 2019, the October 2018, quite some time ago. So it makes a lot of sense. Very highly um, probability that the Metal Cooler will get easy. That's why I'm not going to really be focusing on the LR Bomb Coup because actually we don't know if the Super Saiyan Goku is going to get easy or not. But uh, again, a uh, huge, huge high probability. So let's talk a little bit about the Extreme Z Awakening to the Metal Cooler and what should we expect. Now, this is going to be the only, the second only HP attack and defense 170% across the board uh, Dokkan Festival exclusive TUR that's going to get an easy A. If you look at the other easy A's that we've had that are Dokkan Festival exclusive above and beyond like your 120% transformation Goku and Frieza and then also the Rosé and Vegeta Blue, all the other category ones are like 150 or a 170% with 130% you know, in, in one of the st uh, statistics like HP or defense. Um, some it's 170% attack, but not all of it. And this is the only, the second one. Everything else has been 150 or 130 or, uh, uh, or um, you know, missing one of the 170%. The only other one that we know of that had the 170% across the board was the Dokkan Festival exclusive hit. So we're going to kind of take a little note on what they did with that Extreme Z Awakened and kind of apply it to this unit here. So when you look at that unit there, the Universe 6 category is uh, was is key plus for HP and attack defense 170%. The only change that they did for the 170% leader skill was they added one key. So it was key plus three 170% across the board. Now it's key plus four 170% across the board and from 150% Universal Survival Saga to 160%. So it just went up from 150 to 160 there. Now we are in a totally different meta now from when this easy aid back in 2021 last year and will they actually increase it to like 177% or even maybe 180 because at 170 it's still in a sense relevant but not as relevant of course as like 177 or 180 so um, we'll see I, I would expect that they were going to just provide a key plus four for the leader skill and really nothing else now you should remember when easy a hit came out it was an extreme stream buff they added a bunch of stuff to it and i didn't go as far as what they did with hit um but i still think it's going to be a very very viable unit uh from what i'm customizing here so let's take a look at what i ended up doing with the uh the unit of itself so kind of starting from the top here wicked blow line category instead of key plus three it's going to be key plus four 170 across the board 
Uh, I'm hoping they might increase the HP and attack defense like 177 or something like that. Just something a little bit different. Extreme AGL, this is a still a type advantage there. Went from It's going to go from absolutely 190 to about 120 or even higher, maybe even higher to make it a little bit more relevant there. But this is how old this unit is. It has a, it's a Dokkan Festival exclusive with a secondary uh, type advantage um, leader skill for 90%, which is very, very low now these days. The super attack here, I did just add the attack and defense um, for one turn. Um, and everything else stays the same because it's immense damage to the enemy and then lowers attack and defense, which they provided uh, before. Now, this is where we kind of get a little bit interesting here. You might go, wait a minute, that's kind of a large buff there. So I do want to remind you, I do want to remind you from the recent... Uh, Super Saiyan uh, Goku here a lot of controversy when it comes to this unit not being relevant things of that nature as more people are playing him he's very very good now I'm going to take a little bit of a um, uh, of a description from this unit here and kind of apply it to the meta cooler is because when he actually EZA the Super Saiyan Goku he went from uh, the transformation state he went from attack and defense 80 percent yeah 80 percent to 180 percent and that's what i'm going to apply here as well on the attack and defense here so previously this unit was attack and defense 80 percent i'm just going to slap on another 100 percent on there making this unit very very strong at 180 percent and then we're going to add the plus additional instead of just attack 10 percent we're going to go attack and defense 20 percent up to 80 percent versus up to 70 percent i think that's going to be really strong there as a Kind of a, a stacking mechanic there, but instead of only going up to like 59% additional where the Super Saiyan Goku goes to, this is actually going away all the way up to 80%. Now, of course, the biggest difference is Super Saiyan Goku does stack, and I'm not making this unit stack here. I think making this unit stack here would just be way too OP. Because on top of this, at the end of the turn, you're going to get 10% HP recovered, and that's always you know beneficial there. Instead of recovering 7%, we're going to go 10% here. Now... This is the one that I'm going to say, okay, we're going to add something special to this to make it very, very relevant. And this is kind of counteracting what the Super Saiyan Goku did was the chance of guarding attacks. Well, if you're running this unit on the right team, which this would be a Wicked Bloodline team here, you're going to have guard against all attacks when the ally, when the Wicked Bloodline Caligari ally is attacking the same turn. I think that's fair, right? I think that's fair if... Uh, you are running this on a Wicked Bloodline team or primarily a Wicked Bloodline team or especially a STR LR cooler team, this is a no-brainer, pretty easy for this to have guard against all attacks active at all times. So, not sure how you guys feel about that, but I think that's a fair trade-off just to have it on a Wicked Bloodline category. Let's say you wanted to run this unit somewhere else, it's just not going to have that uh, additional ability. But I think with the 180% and then the additional 80% on top of that after each attack received, um, I think it fares, you know, fairly well. Just here's 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 the reason why. You look at the stat boost, HP and attack defense uh, boost. Remember the EZAs and TURs get the stat boost there. The HP isn't all that high. The attack isn't all that high, right? It's under 19,000 where you see some of these EZAs over 20,000 or so. The defense is 14,926, almost 15,000. So I think with the multipliers on here, it would make this unit very, very strong defensively. Um, and really, the nice thing about it, you can get the stack, you know, right away and not have to wait for a transformation, right? And get the guard uh, on top of that as well. So I think this is a reasonable uh, buff and uh, would make this unit very relevant. Uh, and again, it's not going to be like best in slot or anything like that, but it's going to be very relevant because if you do end up actually running it on a team here, like especially on a cooler team here, uh, on JP, of course, best in slot, uh, the uh, person you want to put in in with uh, cooler here is the Golden Frieza. But I think the EZA with the guarding ability um, for the Metal Cooler could be a very, very viable main rotation slot on here. Of course, he has some other support units and things of that nature that come along with it. And I was thinking to myself, yes, this is this will be a fun little little thing to do. But if you are on global, you don't you can't have golden Frieza. So of course you can probably put full power Frieza on here as well. But again, thinking to myself, well, what about what about this guy? What about this guy? This metal cooler here is now irrelevant. But this this cooler here was a very very good unit as a support unit. And I was thinking, well, if they don't do the whole guard thing, because I think 
you know, guard is in right now. Everyone wants guard on their unit here. What if they changed it up and said, you know, let's make this a support unit instead so that it can be more of a floater unit versus a main rotation. But, you know, I didn't change anything else. I just changed the guard mechanic um, and just turned it into a, a floating support unit. I think this would be even more beneficial than the guard mechanic on there. Uh, being that, you know, when the AGL Golden Frieza comes out on Global, that's really the unit that you want to have with Cooler to uh, um, to really mitigate any initial damage. Uh, but that's only on run, one rotation, of course, having on another uh, is very beneficial as well. But anyway, uh, Wicked Bill and Category Allies keep us to uh, attack and defense here, I think would be a great support for that similar team like I'm talking about here. But instead of on main rotation, uh, you're just going to have him on a support rotation there. And here's the thing, if they do EZA Strength Cooler in Part 3, which is becoming a little bit more un, you know, doubtful, right? Uh, if they do do that, now you're going to have you know, a triple support with Metal Cooler transforming STR to UR Cooler and then Cooliza. That's just a heck, heck of a support, uh, uh, support mechanic for the Cooler team. So, um, But anyway, this is basically how I wanted to customize this unit here. Would you rather have support or would you rather have guard? Oops, that's oh, that's the wrong one here. Here we go, guard. Would you rather have guard or would you actually rather have support as the option for you if they easy aid this unit? Oh, oh by the way, the transformation, yeah, who cares? Uh, it's one of these transformations, kind of a, a, a giant form where you're not going to take any damage, things of that nature. They'll probably do orb changing like they did with the Rage Goku. Um, and have you ability to do uh, more super attacks versus uh, be really tough to get uh, get orbs, right? So, uh, but again, let me know in the comment section below, support or guard. Let me know. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video here, and we'll find out pretty soon exactly what we're actually going to be getting for part two when it comes to celebrations, what summonable units we're going to get, and I think we'll probably get the EZA uh, units as well probably shortly after. So, anyway, with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconning, and we'll catch you next time. Later.